I am uh, glad and satisfied to uh, welcome you to uh, see and listen to uh, the gospel and we have to talk about being separate in this lesson. Lesson. You are listening to me when you listen to Jan Ludvigsen Wekels of Orson and uh, I have the highest and the hard place just greetings to you and wishes for you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> now we will talk about be ye separate. Uh, that is so great, great thing. <clears throat> think about it. That's, that is so great. Think about it. Be ye separate. That means something to us, to you, and to me. Let's read what the Bible say about it. Think we shall find, <coughs> find out, <coughs> find the correct answer there in the Bible. So we read from the Second Corinthians chapter six and verse seventeen. <coughs> Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. <clears> the <throat> Bible have a very important message for us today, and for every age, every generation. To be separate means things in so great <coughs> scale of dimension that we hasn't think about it before as we could did. But our Bible learn us exactly what is it. That is, that is just to stay away from all unbiblical wisdom and religions which haven't any connection with <clears throat> the healthy and spiritual doctrines in the Bible. Also from people that have an other teaching and practice opposite the Bible, we shall stay away from them all, which means there's dirty fails learn. Our Bible is perfect, our Bible is true, exactly from word to word. I believe the Bible, I believe Jesus, I believe everything what God said says in the Bible. <coughs> True, the day of fails teaching of baptizing of their small children where, <coughs> where they learn they learn that those small is gone to be children of God by that fails teaching. But remember all fail teaching and learning comes not from God, not at all. It does it. It doesn't come from God. But from who? Yes, from the devil, the king of darkness, and of all unbiblical teaching, learnings, and practice. <clears throat> so the best we can do is to follow up the word that means to follow Jesus in his footsteps because he is the way the true and the life <clears throat> so also we have to be separate from every congregation that have entertainment circus and all light and bad events 
which not lead us to heaven, but to perdition. To be in agreement with Jesus is to be in agreement with his words. Just because he himself, he himself, note that, he is the word, also the way, the life, the light of salvation, our great hope that we never find in different other arrangements which not keep the word of God <clears throat> steady and spiritual steady and in spiritual stability in Christ Jesus that's it. The best message we, all who are believers, can share with you, that is the gospel of Jesus. The right gospel, the mighty full and spiritual gospel who is inspired by the Holy Ghost. The Lord <coughs> Jesus he gave his life for every one of us not to lead us on a wrong way but to lead us on the right way the way which take us to heaven and that way is Jesus because the Bible say he is the way the true and the life without him we haven't any chance to receive the internal life in heaven. But in Christ we have every chance to receive the almighty God's spiritual life which he will give us. Friends and listeners, God bless you. I thank you for watching this program. Thank you for listening and hope to meet you again on a later program. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.